All right, I'm gonna walk you through this password cracker that I created. It only works if your password is under three letters, three letters or less, and only has the letters of the alphabet A through Z. Now I could always edit that up there, like I could add zero, one, two, three, and I could add all the numbers and symbols if I really wanted to, but here's how it's really structured. Um, the user, well, first I'm importing the time module because I want to track how long it takes for me to crack your password. And this is going to be using a brute force attack that constantly keeps, keeps trying, 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 trying over and over and over again until the right password is figured out. So these are the possible letters that I will be using to crack your password. Um, if you use any numbers or symbols or anything like that, I won't be able to guess it. But if you only have 26, one of the 26 letters in your password, then it will be easier to crack. Now, like I said, you could modify this and add numbers, but I'm just starting off with this and we can always modify it later. So it's going to ask the user, it's going to say, enter your password. And I guess the point of this program is to see how long it would take for someone to crack your password. So, you know, our passwords shouldn't be three letters long. It, they should not be all lowercase letters. They should be capital. They should be uh, numbers and symbols. Um, your password should be a little bit more difficult than like cat. <laughs> if your password's cat, please change it. So you're going to enter your password. It's going to be a three letter password or less. And then what's going to happen is uh, the computer is going to keep track of how long that this is going to take. So we're going to input the time module and time dot time just gives me a, a starting point of the, of the time and I'm saving it as start. So, all right, this is where all the action happens right here. Now you might look at this and you might see some nested for loops and some things going on that you might not know why things are where. I'm going to do my best to explain it. All right. And then, so this will crack your password here. So maybe I'll add a comment. I'll be like, um, could crack your password. And this is going to start the timer. And then down here, what I'll do is I'll say this actually ends the timer to stop the timer and that line of code. And then what we're going to do is we're going to calculate how long it took to crack your password. And what I did was I took create a variable called duration and I took end however what time it was at the end so like let's say it's 8 839 right now if I would start cracking your password at 839 and it finished at 8 um, 49 then it would be a duration of 10 minutes that it would take but this is going to keep track in seconds okay so just keep track just remember that it's gonna be keeping track in seconds and then finally, I'm going to output the duration. So it took blank seconds to crack your password. And I'll go ahead and put a comment up here too. And I'll say password equals input. So this I'll say user enters their password. And then I'll say possible letters to include in password. All right, so I guess I'll add one last one here. I'll say um, import the time module. All right, so you're looking at all this, and like I said, the meat of the code is right here. This is the code that I actually used to crack your password. So in here, I have three for loops. I have a for loop right here. Oops. For loop here. I have a for loop here. And I have a for loop here. 
All right, so let's let's walk through. So for i in letters, so remember for loops, if I say for whatever, it's going to start for the very first uh, letter in very in very first letter in letters. So it's going to start with a. So basically saying, I'm starting with a. My guess is going to be assigned a. So whenever I refer to guess from now on, it's just going to be a. So I'm going to print out a, and that shows up in, on the screen. And then it says if, and this is where we evaluate the condition. If the password that you entered is the same as what I just guessed, then I'll print out, hey, your password is a. If a was your password, don't make your password one letter uh, most time you're prevented from doing that. And I will say that's not a good password. But if your password is A, the code will break and it'll just be done. If your password is not A, then what it does is it says for J in letters, I use J because I is very common to use in for loops. So I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, the alphabet, right? So I'll say for like the next, in letters, right? So if your password is an A, this basically goes through the first time and says, hey, is your password A? If it's not, so else, if it's not A, okay, so then I'm saying, all right, so now I'm going to start with the very first letter in letters, right? I'm starting over. I'm going to say my new guess is A, A. All right, so what I'll do is I'll say, all right, my guess is going to be AA, and I'll print it out, AA. If my password is AA, then it's going to print out your password is AA, and then it will break out. And if it were to break out of here, I also have another break at the bottom that will break out of the other for loop. All right. Um, if it's not, okay. Else, what I'm going to do is, it says for K in letters. If it's not, then I'm going to try A, 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 and I'll print that out, and I'll do the same exact thing. If your password is really A, 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 then print out your password is, and then it will break out. And then it will break out again and break out again. So that's like the, the waterfall effect, breaking out of all the loops. And then else, if it's still not your password, then I'm just going to continue and move back through. So like if I run this right now, check this out. Enter your password, I don't know, let's say dog. And we'll go through all through possible passwords and then it finally says dog your password's dog it took 23 seconds to crack your password so if you look at it so look at the order how it guessed right it guessed I'll scroll up to the top here it went a a a a a a Right? Then it went A A B A A C A A D A A E A A F A A G A A H all the way through. And then it got down here and said, alright, it was none of these all the way to Z. So now I guess A B A B A A B B A B C all the way through. So you know it went through every single possible combination all the way leading up to dog. Now, if someone were to run this and you had a three-letter password, they could probably crack it in just a few minutes. Now, if you add more symbols and numbers to your password, it will take a little bit longer because it will also take longer to scan through everything. Right, so this is really, like I said, the meat of your code. Um, 
it's always good to play around with nested for loops because they're powerful and they continue to go through. Now, a question to think to yourself is, all right, how can I make it where it would guess automatically rather than me having all these for loops here and knowing that I can only do three letters right now, how can I make it so it would just keep going forever and ever and ever with, and then I'll add four letters and then five and then six, um, I guess six characters, seven, eight, and then keep going. This is just the simple, quick version if you had a three-letter password of what to do. But it's it's kind of cool to go through. Like I said, you can always add more symbols and, and everything up here. The part that is a little tricky, the part that you need to maybe spend some time working through, is identifying um, where to actually break out. It should be actually like that, right? where to actually break out of your, um, I guess, I mean, you could have left it like that, but uh, just for neatness reasons. Um, it's important to know, like once you've broken out of this first loop, um, this, this nested loop, if I didn't have another, if I didn't have this line right here, then it would continue back in through the loop. And it would say your password is whatever, when it guessed it, but then never actually break out. So it's going to go through and it's going to track how long it takes and at the end it calculates it and prints it out. So I'll run it one more time here. Um, I'll choose uh, what's your password? Cat. Right? And it'll run through. It should take less time. So you probably see now that if your password with this, with the, if this person were to create, if someone were to create a Password cracker, if you were to start it with a Z, it might take a little bit longer. Okay. Um, your password is cat. It took 13 seconds to crack your password. All right. And even maybe if I take input your password and I could even put the lowercase. So even if you add an uppercase letter, that would limit my time rather than putting in additional like A, B, C, D, E, F. I could limit the time that it takes to actually go through and loop through those letters by just converting everything to lowercase, right? Like I said, I could always add 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If I wanted to, that would be all the letters and numbers. And I could run through it, right? And now you could say, all right, um, maybe I'll change this up. Um, enter your password, and I'll say numbers and I'll say letters and numbers only. Letters and numbers only. Okay, so let me run it one more time. Um, let's say my new password is AB1. Right. It took less than a second <laughs> to crack my password. Um, maybe if I make it... I don't know, CA6. See how it might take a little bit longer now that it's including numbers. It takes longer to loop through that. I'll wait until it goes all the way through. Yeah, see, it's going to take longer. CA6, your password is CA6. It took 22 seconds to crack your password. So look how many times it actually, how fast computers are, right? They guessed all those. So the longer your password is, the more complicated it is, the longer it's going to take for someone to crack your password. But this was my code. I'll go ahead and put it full screen so you can see it. And if you have any questions, let me know.